Yo, what's good guys, Coach the Tech here. So today we got a long awaited video. Now all my youngins out there on my Discord server and just all over in the channel, they've been wanting me to review this for a good minute. Now this is a custom backplate from V1 Tech. Now V1 Tech makes a bunch of cool stuff. I'm gonna have their website in the description below. Definitely check it out. But this is a custom backplate that I basically um, ordered from them. This is for a for my um, the uh, the RX 590 uh, power color card. So they have different uh, different uh, different cards that they, they support. Everything on their website. Basically, this ran me seventy dollars. Uh, everybody wanted to take a look at this. So, anyways, let's see what this is about. For seventy dollars, I mean, it's an aesthetic piece. Is it worth it? I mean, we're about to find out, man. Let's get to it, chef. Let's pop this out now the, the listen i hope this is not like the box because that'll be kind of whack because i want a nice presentation why is this not coming out okay see i mean it's whatever man i mean they they playing games all right you know they could have made it at least a little nicer we got this we got this we got that it goes there but we'll see what we get. We get a <laughs> Swedish fish. All right, now listen, man. All right, it, I don't know. All right, it is what it is, I guess. All right, so this is the accessories that basically come. We get a remote control. We get... Mmm, mmm, smell like Chinese, I'll tell you that. Definitely smell like Chinese. All right, so we get, um, you know, typical Chinese RGB remote control. All right, so we got all the power, speed. This, listen, man, you know I've reviewed a bunch of these Chinese fans. It's basically the same remote control, man. Yo, the, the presentation they playing for $70. I want a nice box. I wanted some literature on it. I wanted some, but whatever. We get a booklet here. We're going to go over it right now. Let's see these connections. We get SATA powered, thank God, not Molex. Uh, okay, so it even tells you it's SATA powered. Let's see, the other end, this is for power, I guess for some of these. Anyways, we're gonna go through everything, how to install it. This is ARGB. All right, I gotta definitely see how to install it. And we have different uh, stickies here that basically give you, um, I guess when you connect them so you know this, I, I suppose. I gotta see what this is about. This is some magnet, which I gotta see. These are little like little magnets. I gotta see what this is about. I guess we're gonna use this instructional guide over here to basically break everything down. All right, so they got a nice guide over here that breaks everything down for you. Essentially, how to install everything. So I'm gonna definitely take a look at this. And this is the other side, essentially how to install the back plate. So it basically runs everything down. So I believe uh, we'll do that maybe together. This is there, this is now. Now I did get uh, Kakarot, all right. They didn't have Vegeta, all right. I didn't get my Prince, all right. So I got Kakarot, you know, I got Goku. It is what it is, you know what I mean? But yeah, so this is, oh damn, it looks nice. So I got Goku over here. He looking fresh, he looking hella fresh. But you know, Prince Vegeta will look much better, but it's still not bad. It's pretty thick, I gotta say. You see it right there. Maybe it's gonna be a better, it's probably not gonna focus. But this is nice. You got Vegeta, oh, you got uh, Kakarot just chilling, doing his thing over here. This is nice. So this is the uh, RGB, which goes here in the bottom. You guys could see. This looks nice. It's not bad. It's a, uh, it's acrylic. I I believe it's acrylic. I think it is like acrylic. But, I mean, listen, man, is this really worth seventy dollars? I mean, they probably made this for like five bucks and they selling it for seventy dollars, making a nice sixty-five dollar profit. But hey, it's their business. They gotta do what they gotta do. But anyways, let's see how to connect this. I am curious. I'm gonna run it down right now. Basically, how to connect this. Um, it looks nice though. It looks nice. I like this. But I wish they made Vegeta. All right. I guess, uh, let's get to it, let's go. All right guys, so I ran through everything. I ran through the instructional guide. All right? So I did my homework, I came prepared. <laughs> anyway, so there's a few ways as it is as it is explained here in the uh, manual. There's two ways essentially installing the, uh, the back plate, the RGB back plate. There's the first step is, these are essentially magnets, right? So you could just pop them out each by one by one and place them. At this layout, this is the, um, the RX um, Power Color uh, 590 Red Devil card. So, you know, every card is going to be different, but particularly in this card, essentially what you want to, what you could do is you could put, place these magnets here at these, at these cutout screws. And then this, right, is the adhesive, the 3M adhesive, it's just regular 3M adhesive. You just pop it, place it here, and then you could essentially place the back plate. That's one step of doing it. Um, the problem is I don't like that step because it's gonna it, it's it's gonna be a little um 
it's gonna be basically, a, it's not gonna be flush. You know, I want it to be flush. So this, the second step essentially is, uh, the more, the, as they said here, the more permanent step is essentially just putting the 3M tape. Now, if you don't have a back plate, as it's basically, you know, stated here, if you don't, you could install with the pre, uh, without a pre-installed back plate. So essentially, if this was in here, you could have just put it here, essentially, and then put it flush. But in this installation guide, we're gonna do it with uh, with a back plate since this car does have a back plate and with 3M tape. Now, I'm gonna go into a little quick mini rant. It's probably gonna last like a minute or two, guys. Just bear with me. All right, so I spent $70 on this, um, RGB uh, backplate. Now, you know, they took, basically I bought it. Uh, this is when, you know, what in the situation that we're going on now, you know, with the, with the whole Rona situation. And then when I copped it right on their website, then they hit me up with the, hey, by the way, due to this whole situation that's going on right now in the world, it's gonna take us close to a month to ship your order. And I was like, yo, WTF, like, why'd you not tell me that before? But anyways, they didn't. So I waited, like, I wanna say a month and a few weeks just to get it. Now. When I did get it, right, it's beautiful. But the problem is it's not compatible with the card. This is not the right cutout. So as you guys could see here, it's not fully cut out. Like this, all of this metal piece here at the back plate for this card all needs to be covered. So I don't know what exactly they did there at V1 Tech, but look, I got it. I waited a month. I'm not gonna go and do the whole support thing and do this, it's gonna wait a more month. How they sent it is how I'm gonna review it. So. Hey, they dropped the ball, it is what it is. But anyways, essentially that's how it's gonna go. I mean, it looks beautiful, rant over, by the way. <laughs> so let's get into the install, but you know, these kind of F-ups shouldn't happen because look, realistically speaking, this is a piece of acrylic, right? They just 3D printed, 3D printed a logo out here. This probably ran them a few dollars to make and they're making a nice chunk profit, you know, $60, $65, however, you know, you know, whatever went about at the cost here for the product. But these kind of F-ups shouldn't happen, especially with the whole situation of going right now where a customer needs to wait that long because, and I paid for expedite shipping too. So, you know, V1 Tech, if you're watching it, you guys gotta do a better job. But anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the 3M adhesive, right? So I'm gonna put them like right here, right? Right here, I wanna say, right here. Right, we wanna make this as flush as possible so it's gonna look, you know, as, you know, it's gonna look nice. This is, we want it to look dope and then we're gonna, I'm gonna maybe space it out a bit and put it here. And then we have one more, wherever the heck it went, we have one more here. So now, essentially we're gonna space it out and then what I wanna do is I wanna space it out here so it's gonna sit a little more flush. As it's basically shown here, it says with pre-installed uh, backplate, essentially how to do it. Maybe I even actually did it a little wrong. Maybe I should like switch it above. But here it says, well, this since this since this is clearly not the full cutout, it's the short cutout. What I'm gonna do is I guess I'm gonna put one here, right? And I'm gonna put one here. This is gonna come out right. I'm gonna put one like right here. Um I'm put one here. And one more, I don't know, let's put it like in the center or something. I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna put this more like here. Let it sit here and I'm gonna put this flush, let's say like right here. So essentially this, this is how it basically looks. Now obviously you guys just peel the, so, all right. So we peeled everything, we peeled up, the, we peeled off all of the plastic we put it on like this. Now what you wanna do essentially is line up the card correctly. Now remember when the card is being installed, right, it's going into the PCIe slot. Now <laughs> make sure you guys have it facing your way. So as you can see, it has to face this way. So the image has to be pointing towards you. You don't wanna put it this way. You don't wanna put it the wrong way to the PCIe slot. You wanna put it the other way so you can see the power and whatnot coming out. Let me just unplug this. The power coming out this way. All right, so now the installation again, this is, you know, this is not a full-fledged card. Now, I guess let's just put it in somehow. Like, let's see if I can move it a bit. Strain it now. Just like this. All right. All right, so basically here you go, it's installed. Now all you're gonna wanna do is once it's installed, of course, we're gonna 
powered it up. Now, quickly, the connections, I didn't run, run through them. Let me run through them. So this actually does work with Corsair IQ, which is pretty cool. So if you, have, if you guys have the, uh, the Corsair IQ all set up, if you guys have the fans and if you have the Commander Pro, you plug this in essentially to the Commander Pro and then you could use everything with the Corsair IQ suite. I'm a huge fan of the Corsair IQ suite. It's really dope. So you could synchronize the fans, you can synchronize um, the RGB LED strips and you could essentially synchronize the, um, the back plate as well. So Gigabyte Fusion and motherboard 5 volt connectors, I believe, uh, they just made it this way because Gigabyte Fusion has their own proprietary thing. So essentially, this would work with Asus, um, with your Asus Mobos, with your uh, MSI Mobos, with your Azrock Mobos. What else am I missing? I'm probably missing someone else. But anyways, you guys get the gist. And basically, these are the connections over here. And then this is for the power connection. So like I said, like I mentioned, you have the 5 volt uh, SATA port, right? So essentially, how this is going to be is you're going to plug this side into here. Right, this is what I'm assuming. We're gonna go through the installation and then you're gonna run the SATA. Now, I don't know exactly how it's gonna look, how flush it's gonna look because I don't want no wire sticking out, you know, but we shall see once I install it. Um, all right, let's run through the installation guide. And like I said, with magnets, here, you know what, let me make it. So you see how it looks? There is a bit of spacing. There is a bit of spacing here. You see, there is a bit of spacing, I mean, it is what it is, you know. It, it makes the car look a bit thicker, guys. You know, if you guys could see it right here. You see there, there's, you could see it on the camera, there is spacing. Let's move it this way. You see like, what's that, like a millimeter or so, you know, of spacing, you know, a piece of acrylic. I, like I said, it's just a piece of acrylic, man. You could even, you know, make it even yourself if you want. Some arts and crafts. And then here as well, you see there's spacing. So this is as flush as possible. Now imagine if I put magnets, now if I would have put magnets, it would basically just rise up. That's why I didn't go with magnets. But hey, looks, I, look, I, I wish they sent me the right one. I wish they had the, you know, I don't know what they're doing like again, but hey, I'm not gonna wait. I got the product. I'm gonna review the product for how I received it. But if it was the entire cutout, it'd be dope. Because on their website, I actually chose the RX, they had a listing on which graphics cards. Basically, they already had a pre-prepared pre listing on their website. I chose the Power Color RX 590 Red Devil Edition. They showed a picture. I chose that card, and I don't know what the hell they did here. And they shipped me the you know completely completely off opposite. But anyways, I'm gonna th I'm gonna throw this in the uh, the test bench right now, and we are gonna install it together and see how it basically came out. Let's go. Yo, now quickly, I just take wanna just wanna take a quick pause right here. Uh, I was just, you know, going through Twitter right now. V1 actually did reach out to me, V1 Tech. They said, yo, coach, you know, this usually don't happen. We got you. You know, I was in a process. I waited for this for like a month and so I don't want to wait longer. So I was, you know, contemplating. I was like, maybe I'll just do this, you know, return exchange. But then some homie had to roll up in my, um, in my Twitter feed. You know, uh, they took everything, boy. Uh, he had to roll up in there and basically, you know, started flexing and beef popping. So. And you know what? I'm like, yeah, I, I don't, you know, I ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna mess with them. You know, your company is who, you know, is representing it. That boy, that YouTuber boy, he, you know, he's a, he, they took everything, boy. I ain't even gonna deal with them. But anyway, so I was just like, look, I'm just gonna keep this for what I have. I don't want to wait longer. I know you guys been wanting to watch this video for a minute, so I'm just gonna proceed. But like I did say, they did reach out, and you know, they said they're gonna basically in this kind of situation. They did say that they do not do any exchanges or returns because everything is custom. So keep that in mind too, guys. But they did say because of this situation, they effed up. They would have actually done the uh, the, the return or I believe the exchange. I don't, I don't even think I could have got a refund. They did say they'll get an exchange. So keep that in mind. For $70, it's custom, you know, all this. They don't do, you know, exchanges, returns. That's how they want to run their business. You know, that's their choice. But I'm just letting you guys know that. But anyways, let's get back to the... Um, Get back to the, some RGB. Let's go. All right, guys. So I got everything laid out over here. So like I mentioned, I do like the labeling that they got. This is really dope for the Gigabyte Fusion. Uh, this is for the Gigabyte Fusion sync. So if you do have a Gigabyte motherboard, this is the wire you're going to use if you want to use the ARGB functionality. This is for MoboSync. This is for every other motherboard besides Gigabyte. And this is for the Corsair IQ. Again, everything is labeled. It's fire. Now, if you don't want to use any of the, um, the, the, the synchronizations with your Mobo, you have this option, just straight SATA. And then you're going to use the remote control, in, which in this video, which I'm going to show you guys. Now, I did use it with the, uh, the synchronization with the, with the Aura software. It does work. Now, so like I said, this all you're gonna have to basically do is just plug it in via SATA and then you're gonna use this remote control basically just the Chinese 
RGB remote control and you got to keep it pushing. And then the connection will be right in there. I'm going to turn this on right now just to give you guys a better representation how it looks inside to go over the wire and then we're going to do some we're going to go over some RGB colors. All right, so she's all lit up. Lit up. Now I got to say it does look pretty fire. Now the connection which I was talking about is right over here, right? This is for the power of the back plate. Now it's very minimalistic. You won't see it in the case. So, I mean, if you're looking at it from this way, you won't really see it. It's, unless if you really look into it, you know, the, the cable is, you know, a, a, a bit hidden, you know, it's not going to be a, extrusive in the sense of you're going to see it. So that's, that's a, de that's a pretty good de design. I got to give them. And of course the back plate, she, do it, it, it does look pretty dope. I can't, I can't hate on that. Right now, what I basically want to do is I want to go over the, uh, the RGB functionality functionality. I gotta say it does look pretty dope. I mean, you do have that RGB glow tool here in the bottom. You know, she is pretty thick. You know, this is the back plate itself. And just to give you guys a better look. It does, you know, stand out a bit. Now check it guys. Uh, you got some Chinese RGB fans hooked up. <laughs> Man, these Asian horse fans are fire. You got the back plate. Now I gotta say, look, from the side, it looks absolutely sick, man. It looks fire. Now, of course, you know, it's not the right proper custom piece, but I got it. Look, you know, now it's just on auto mode. It looks really, really nice. If you're just going to put it right here. Now, I know the AIO is actually the white uh, tubing is actually, you know, it's not the best way to see it, but I'm just showing you guys the best. I'm going to run through the colors a little later, but it's, it's, it really is beautiful. I mean, I just wish the tubing here, you know, it's, if I didn't have an AIO, it would come out a little better, but it looks fire, man. It really does look dope. Now, of course, but for $70, that's just, hey, I guess, you know, you want some more RGB, you gotta pay. But like this, if you got it in white, all right, you got some Chinese RGB fans, it'll be 100. It'll be absolutely 100. But right now, I just wanna run through the colors really quick. All right, so we're gonna run through the solid colors first. We got red. Now, I love how you get the detail in the uh, on the on the plate itself on the back plate itself it looks really really nice you see goku out there doing the hamehameha it looks really really dope we got green we got blue and we got white all right so for all you fans out there wanting white you finally got to look for a theme build this is absolutely dope but i gotta say for 70 dollars for something that which is acrylic or fiberglass it's a bit too expensive it's a little wide, but look, I know you cats out there who want something like this, you'll pay anything to get it. Well, you have it here on the market. You could go ahead and cop it. This would be sweet for me, like around $35, $40, because look, this is Chinese. I, this is Chinese. I don't see where it's $70, you know, so the, I, I, I don't get it. But hey, it is what it is. I guess, you know, the demand is there, so they, they could price it whatever they want. We got auto. All right, this is basically just a rainbow effect. Looks absolutely beautiful. You could speed it up. All right, so it's going faster now. We could switch the mode. There's different LEDs. It looks sick. It really, really does look sick. You could turn it off if you don't want that, and you could turn it on. Look at all. <laughs> it looks dope. Now, unfortunately, I, I, I did you know receive this one, which is not correct to which one I ordered. Like I said earlier, they would have honored it, but I don't want to do the whole waiting thing and this all on that. At the end of the day, is is this something which I recommend? Yes. Is the price high? Hell yeah. All right. Most definitely. But look, it is what it is. But anyways, guys, I'm Kosher Tech. I'm going to catch cats next time. Deuces.